Here we are at the Coastal Virginia Auto Show with this beautiful 1955 Chevrolet hardtop called the Virus with the owner. Your name, sir? Dave Lynn. Hey, Dave. How hey, you how's doing? it going, guys? Where are you located? Uh, we live in Chesapeake, Virginia. Virginia. Awesome. Yeah, I met you down at the Outer Banks. Right, time. right. Yeah. All right. Well, if you don't mind, if you can walk around and sort of tell us about the car, starting with the engine. Yeah, so it's a, basically it's a six-liter LS motor, uh, Midget Motorsports and uh, Kill Devil Hills uh, did all the motor work in it. Makes a 1,000 on pump gas, uh, twin turbos, 66 millimeter turbos. Um, everything in the car is hand fabricated. Uh, it was a basket case whenever we got it. Uh, cut everything out, build a dual frame rail, round tube chassis through the car. To, Is that uh, air conditioning? Got air conditioning, power windows, wow. gotta have it, man. Wow, yeah. Nice. And the all blacked out with the halogen type headlights. Yep, yep. yep. Smooth bumper. You said it's a tube chassis? It's a, it's a you know, round tube chassis car. Uh, so uh, basically a four-link setup. The vent for the... Uh, yeah, so the two intercoolers are right behind the headlights. Okay. So that kind of gets awesome. a little bit extra yeah. air into them. Nice. And uh, everything very, was... Very nice job fabricating that yep, as well yep. and molding it into the radiator support. And, uh, what type of wheels do you have on there? These are HR1 Mickey Thompsons uh, with uh, the back tires are 33, 22, 20. Uh, front tires basically you have to accommodate the six piston wheel woods so they're the bigger wheels. Wheel wood brakes all the way around? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You got uh, functioning louvers here? Yep, yep, just to uh, passively leach off the heat from the turbos. Handmade? Oh yeah, no, these actually came out of a Shelby GT500. Oh wow! Oh yeah, wow. just to piss off the Chevrolet people. Yeah, isn't that exhausting? But the dumps for that's the dumps for the wastegates, um, and then it, basically up underneath the car, all you see is the exhaust system. Everything up underneath the car is hidden. Tucked under. Nice. These are functional. Yeah. No, you, at the lights. Handmade. Uh, no, no. Once again, is the, these are the ones that are Ford? they're actually a, a, out of a GT500. They're, okay. they're already made. And they do do exactly mm -hmm. what you need them to do. Modify them, put them in there. Yeah, it's got a 4L80 transmission, uh, Jake Stage Three with a uh, 4000 PTC uh, converter in it. Mm. It's got all your basic creature comforts. Definitely. The power windows, uh, lumbar, sta and stereo. Side support. Um, you can put four people in it. All the oh, interior okay. is uh, set, metal. Set up for four seating. Seating for four. Stereo. And if you look at it, it has a carbon fiber hydro dipping in the metal. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of give it some contrast. Blackout handles. It's got all package. the Dakota Digital. Uh, has a dominator uh, computer system to run that transmission mm -hmm. engine. Sills. That's custom, ain't it? I guess black anyway. Yeah, it's just still carpet. Still. Yeah, it's always you're trying to figure out how to cover stuff. If it, nothing else. Red lights in the door. Yeah, man, got to be sinister, Safety. right? Yeah. Nice. Exhaust tips. What size rear? It's a uh, uh, 18 by 16. It's got a five-inch back spacing. How about the rear? The, the rear is where all the metal work got done. We took and welded the trunk in, uh -huh. uh, which made it a hatchback. Let me grab this. Awesome. 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 So the yep. trunk normally goes all the way down to the bumper. We welded it in place, so it basically made a hatchback. Uh -huh. And um, all the fuel lines run through the fr frame rails. What's up, man? He's been in this in truck. truck. <laughs> he, he, I put his big ass in this truck. Man. But all the fuel uh, lines run through the frame rails and pop up, 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 up by the engine. Um, 
Yeah, Once nice. again, try to be subtle with the look. It's almost like a station wagon. Yep. You know, tailgate. Yep. Sort of, but no tailgate. Huh. And then the, all of the, the parachute and everything, there's, there's a receiver that's built mm -hmm. into the car and it just sticks through the bumper. So if you pull it off, you could put the license plate on the, the car oh, okay. and still for the, the same thing. look. So what size gears in the rear? I have a um, 389 because um, it makes a thousand horsepower. So right. like, you know, something. overpowering the wheels is not a problem. Right. Oh my God. Be able to get top speed too. I'd wake up and I'd wake up in the morning and there'd be. Yeah, it just um, it's all worked out. It, and it, it's like even if you look at the hinges, the hinges are seven plates of metal that are individually welded together to create the hinge. You know, whose idea was the uh, red stripe down the bottom on it? Mine. I've got a <laughs> I've got a red road glide. Okay. Can't only do go. cars. All right. Yep. Yeah, got to switch up. And especially being a hard top, it's very nice. I recognize these door handles, but I know they're not from a Out of an 08 Impala. Impala. Cut them out at a junkyard with a hammer and a screwdriver. Weld them in there and load them. Nice. Yeah, we tried to make the back of the car look like a, a early 60s Corvette. Oh, okay. You know, where the yep. seats are sunken into the... I mean, because the wheel tubs, the wheel tubs are directly behind the seats. Right. So that's about as much room as you can accommodate the wheels and accommodate people in it. But you can put full-grown adults in it. Nice. So how long have you had it? How long did the build take? I think I got the car in uh, 2009, 2010. It was probably basically like a 10-year build. Uh, everybody, there was no criticalness for getting things done and then they, you know, everything gets pushed to the side for a while. Yeah, yeah money. Yeah, you know, yeah. No, money problem. was really, yeah. uh, honestly, money was re really never the problem. You, you have a Holly uh, electronic fuel injection? Yeah, so the Dominator is the Holly computer system. Um, so basically, uh, all of the fuel system uh, for, the, for the engine is all Holly. So, uh, what's this right here? So they're, they're the blow-off valves, okay. close the throttle blade. It's the thing that goes oh, okay. so <laughs> even whenever you hear a turbo car. Right. That, that way you don't bend the impellers because it's still building boost. For the turbo. And whenever it closes, it closes the exit of all the pressure. Gotcha. So what that thing does is it sends vacuum in it. Okay, so you sucks it up. one for each, right? Right. No, I'm symmetrical thinking. Uh, okay. If it's on the left, it's on the right. Okay. You know what I mean? Cost twice as much, but what the heck? I like like things to be that Tubular way. Tubular A frames and adjustable shocks. Yeah, uh, Mike Ball, he built he built everything. Like the, the spindles came off of like a Camaro, mm. um, and Mike basically built everything else for the car. Nice. Well, Dave, thanks for your time. Hope you have good luck at the show. Pre appreciate it. Guys. All right, have a great day. There you thanks. go, man. Thank Bye. you.